Changing yourself is only changing the form of yourself. You're not actually ever changing your self, capital S. The self that is consciousness itself, that is presence itself, that is awareness itself, doesn't change. You can try it. Move your hand. You changed yourself. You changed your body self. You're aware of this position. You're aware of this position. You're aware of this position. The hand, the appearance, the colors, the story changed. But you were completely changeless at the core of your being, at that isness. If you were not completely changeless, you could not detect change. It's only once we take a rocket ship out into space that we see that Earth is actually moving. While you're on the surface, you have no idea that you're rotating at 1,600 kilometers an hour or something like that. So you take on a position of stability, and due to that innate stability, you can see the change. If you're changing along with something, you cannot actually know that it's changing. And since we're always able to see change and memorize what happened to us, we are able to perceive change that indicates that clearly at the root of our being, what we're looking from, not where we're looking at, but what we're looking from is itself changeless in the face of change. Does that make sense? Yeah, just picture yourself 10 years ago and see that you, the you that was seeing you, the you that was seeing your body, your mind, your personality, your ideas, the seeing of that never really changed. And so we have this sense, we have this innate sense of we never really grow old. You know, old people say like, I, I don't feel 80 years old. Because we're not, you know, only the body changes in front of us, in a sense, in front of our seeing. As part of consciousness, it changes its form. But consciousness itself is beyond time. It's not timeless. So to try, the idea to try and change your personality in order to arrive at a deeper truth is not really valid. It doesn't really work like that. The deepest truth is that of your timeless, changeless presence. And to touch in with that, to touch base with that, is to bring about the qualities that are inherent in that. Love, compassion, understanding, a sense of unity and connect connectivity, belonging to all that is. All of these qualities will become infused into your personality if you simply touch base with that which always already is here. Through the two to five seconds of complete relaxation of thoughts and ideas and expectations, and just through tasting that changeless isness of consciousness right here. Hmm. It relaxes the personality structure and actually allows it to re-emerge after those few seconds with, an renewed, with a renewed quality of being, a renewed, heightened frequency of existence, infused with those qualities that we keep at bay by trying to change ourselves and identifying ourselves with the changing. So to simply see in the changing that there is also the changeless, to take that pause, to take that moment of acknowledgement again and again and again, no matter what you're doing. It's very simple, right? Now I'm speaking, but there is an effortless awareness that there is an effortless awareness of the speaking. And so I'm not even actually lost in the speaking, I just witness myself speaking. And it comes with this timeless sense of indestructibility and perfection and beauty and love and belonging to everything that is. Because we are connected to all that is, in energy, in essence doesn't appear to be that way physically, but it is on a deeper level. Therefore, it also is true on the physical. So the change never has anything to do with the changeless. It doesn't actually cancel out the changeless. So whatever is happening, we can simply recognize the changeless in that change, and in that change, and in that change. So it takes away the focus of the changing, as if that's so important, and emphasizes What's more important, the deeper truth of yourself, which is the isness of this moment.